From here in Notification Settings, we're able to manage how notifications are handled app by app. For certain apps, you might want to be notified right away and have those notifications pop up on the display. For other apps, you might want to just have a visible indicator that there is a notification that needs your attention. And for other apps, you may want to turn off notifications completely. Let's start here at the top with the Show Previews menu. Previews refer to the content within a notification. With previews turned on, when my Mac is unlocked, if a notification from the Messages app comes in, I can see the first part of the message that was sent. Turn previews off, and I will still get a notification, but it just says that it's an iMessage. No specific content is shown. This is going to be a default setting from here. It will be possible to set preview settings individually by app as well. Next, we can allow or disallow notifications when the Mac's display is asleep or when the screen is locked. Turning this off will stop notifications from appearing on your display when you've stepped away from the Mac, which can be a good option for more privacy. Notifications can also be prevented if you're mirroring or sharing your display with someone. For example, you might have your Mac mirroring its display to a projector during a presentation and you don't want your notifications popping up for the entire audience to see. Below will be a list of apps that have the ability to send notifications. So you're probably not going to see every app installed on your Mac down here. As I select each app, we get a master switch for notifications from that app at the top. So if I don't want any notifications coming from GarageBand, I can just turn that off here. Next, we can choose how the notifications are presented visually in the form of banners, alerts, or nothing at all. For the Messages app, I currently have banners selected. So when a notification arrives, the banner slides in, and then after a few seconds, it will disappear on its own. After that, it's going to exist in Notification Center, which can be accessed with a two-finger swipe in from the right edge of the trackpad, or with a click on the date and time up in the menu bar. From the Options menu here, we can then click Show More to reply to the message, or mark the message as read in the Messages app. Now let's switch this to an alert. When an alert comes in, it doesn't go away on its own. I have to interact with it for it to be removed from the screen. We have the same options menu here, and we can also just click on the alert to get jumped right into the Messages app. And to discard this with no interaction, click on the X in the upper left. Clearly, alerts are the most intrusive notification. For me, one of the only apps that I choose to actually get alerts from is the Calendar app. So if it delivers an alert notification, it's going to be pretty much assured that I'm going to be reminded and I won't miss it when I need to leave for, say, a meeting or something. Next, we have an option for time-sensitive alerts. This is another option that I like to keep on for apps like Calendar or Reminders because those alerts are going to require my attention typically within an hour or less. Leaving this on will allow these notifications to come through even if you have a focus mode turned on. We'll cover focus mode settings in their own lesson. Below we can set some more app specific notification options including for the badge app icon. With this activated, the app's icon in the dock will show a red badge with a number on it referring to the notifications for that app. So as iMessages arrive, the badge in the Messages app icon will appear and display how many unread messages I have. Same goes for the Mail app. And if I'd rather not see those, then they can be turned off here. We can do the same for notification sounds. 
With this on, an alert sound will play for each notification that comes in. We'll go over alert sounds in the next lesson. Here we can manage previews for the currently selected app. If this is set for always for the app, but previews are set to never in the default menu out here, we're still going to see a preview up here for messages notifications. If I then switch this to the default option here in the app settings, previews in messages notifications will be hidden again. Finally, we have options for how notifications from the selected app will be grouped when they're viewed in Notification Center. Select Automatic and Notification will be grouped together by app. For certain apps, the notifications will be stacked into multiple groups. For example, Notifications for Mail Messages will be grouped by email account. Select by application and Notifications from the app that were received most recently will be grouped at the top of Notification Center. Turn this off and the notifications will not be grouped. They're just displayed with the most recent notification first. So managing how notifications are handled and presented can be an important aspect of how your Mac operates as you're using it.